Sample conversation 1. The time for discussion is approximately 20 minutes. During the discussion, the panel of judges quietly observe the performance and behavior of the candidates and makes his own assessment. The topic is multinationals, Bain or Boone. I suggest you should start the discussion. This is a good topic. I am against multinationals. We have Coke and Pepsi. Do we need them? We can manufacture our own soft drinks. Multinationals destroy the local industry and sell non-essential products. I agree with you. What is the fun of having Coke and Pepsi? We have our own Camper Cola. I think water is good enough. We are not here to discuss soft drinks. The topic given to us is much larger one. First, let us define multinational companies. They are merely large companies which operate in number of countries. There could be some Indian multinationals also. So there is nothing wrong with them. The point is whether they have a good or bad impact on the host countries. We have to discuss their business practices and find out whether they are desirable or not. That is a very good introduction to the topic. Multinational companies do serve an important function that they bring new products and technologies in countries which do not have them. And it is not just Coke and Pepsi. They set up our plants and build roads and bridges which really help in development of host countries. I agree with you. I am against multinationals. We can produce everything ourselves. We should be Sudeshi in our approach. Why do we need multinational companies? We may not need multinational companies. But then, it also means that our companies should not do business abroad. Can we live in an isolated world? The fact is that we are moving towards becoming a global village. The world is interconnected. Then we have also seen that foreign companies bring in business practices that we are impressed with. Look at foreign banks. They are so efficient and friendly that the nationalist banks look pathetic in comparison. I think we can learn a lot from multinationals if we keep our eyes and mind open. Take a look at McDonald's. They are providing quality meals at affordable prices. One does not have to wait at their restaurants. How do you account for the fact that they take out more than they put in and thus lead to impoverishing the country? The fact is that every poor country needs foreign investment. Poor countries often lack resources of their own. That is why they have to invite foreign companies in. There is nothing wrong in this because then the products like cars, air conditioners and so on can be made in poor countries. Often multinationals source products from different countries which helps boost their export earnings. We have been talking about Coke and Pepsi. It is well known that the Pepsi is in food business also and has helped many farmers in Punjab by setting up modern farms to grow potatoes and tomatoes. Now, modern practices have really helped the people in that area. I still feel that multinationals are harmful for the country. Well, there could be negative things associated with such companies. They may not be very good in their practices. But can we do without them? I think the best way is to invite them but also impose some controls so that they follow the laws of the country and do not indulge in unfair practices. I think laws are applicable to everyone. Very often officials in poor countries take bribes. The fault lies not with the company which gives a bribe, but the person who actually demands one. Why blame the companies for our own ills? What about the money they take out? We had a good discussion and I think it is time to sum up. Multinationals may have good points and some bad ones too, but competition is never harmful for anyone. We cannot live in a protected economy any longer. We have been protected for many years and results are there for everyone to see. Rather than be closed about multinational, let us invite them in selected areas so that we get foreign investment in areas which we are lacking. Laws can be strictly enforced on that companies to operate within the limits and do not start meddling in political affairs. Your time is up. Thank you everyone. Though Mr. E started the discussion, he could not make any good points. Later, he could give any points about why multinationals are bad. It is also a bad strategy to say at the outset whether you are for or against the topic. Remember, it is not a debate but a discussion. The first step should always to be introduce the topic without taking sides. See the way in which the discussion is proceeding and give arguments for or against. The observer is not interested in your beliefs but in what you are saying. The participation of Mrs. B and C is below average. A candidate must make 3-4 interventions. Their arguments are also not well thought out and add nothing to the argument.
it is important to say relevant things which we can impact rather than speak for the sake of speaking the arguments of mr d and e are better they seem to be aware of the role of multinational companies mr e's approach is better as he intervenes a number of times he has also taken initiative in the beginning and brought order to the group if selection has to be made from the above candidates the obvious choice would be mr e and thereafter mr d sample conversation 2 The topic is how to succeed in group discussions. This should be interesting. A group discussion on group discussion? I suggest we should discuss the importance of a group discussion first. I mean, why have a group discussion at all? I find this very strange. How can you have a group discussion on group discussion? We should be discussing some current topic to test our knowledge. I agree that this is rather unusual. At the same time, our job is to conduct a meaningful discussion regardless of the topic. Bijoy has suggested we start with the importance of group discussion. Today, group discussion is a very important part of various selection procedures. Group discussion is all about teamwork. That's all. Management is all about working with people. I suppose group discussion is one way of establishing one's ability to work with others. How we are able to lead and be led. <laughs> At the most, a group discussion may give an idea about how a business meeting is held. Otherwise, it's only about sharing your knowledge with others. Looks like you are very sure about your knowledge. Perhaps there is no need for a group or even a discussion. We have some interesting points here: leadership and sharing knowledge. Perhaps a group discussion is a good tool to assess how well you are able to function within a group. I want to. I don't think any discussion is meaningful unless everyone has the same level of knowledge. I want to say something. Excuse me if I am wrong. I am from a vernacular medium. Don't waste our time talking about your background. This topic is group discussion. Talk about that. Every subject has various angles. So, many heads can raise many ideas. Also, too many cooks spoil the broth. <laughs> yes, a group makes it possible to brainstorm any issues. Perhaps Daisy has something to add to this thought. Thanks for giving me a chance. A group discussion is good for consensus. It is always better everybody agrees. Otherwise only one person is there I think the correct word is consensus don't use a word unless you know what you're talking about consensus is fine but is it necessary that everyone should have the same view point that is an interesting thought yes daisy is right that a group discussion is about consensus but there can be still be differences a group discussions provide an opportunity to discuss various aspects of an issue and weigh merits and demerits of different approaches agree to disagree but the question is how to succeed in group discussions i think the first prerequisite is patience some of us must learn to shut up and let others talk if everyone follows that we'll only have silence and no discussion i suppose the point is to participate and give others also a chance to participate please can i speak come on you don't have to beg for permission to speak i said that because i thought someone might have wanted to speak before me anyway is it not possible to only listen i don't know how the moderator will rate your profound silence but daisy no one can read your mind unless you speak how do you contribute i think a group discussion is very much like a business meeting every participant may present an individual point of view but the thinking about that point of view is collective i don't think you can compare a group discussion to a business meeting In a meeting there is usually a chairman whose job is to control the meeting. A group discussion may not have a chairman, but I suppose one person usually emerges as a leader and guides the discussion. I suppose someone fancies himself to be a leader. This is so boring.